So hey guys, welcome back to Joshing Around. But this is not a vlog. This is a podcast series. Oh yes, Joshing Around has started this new podcast series. So what is the concept of this podcast series? Well, the concept of this podcast series is to experience of people, like experience of students who have been in Ireland, how their journey was, how they got the job, how they did not get the job, and what all were the struggles that they faced during their whole process in Ireland. So that whole struggle, that whole real experience of students. students will be here so today i have one of my bestest friend in ireland in ki abhi abhi job lage he got a new job lately so he will be coming on this podcast series of the first podcast series of joshing around and he will be sharing his experience he has done his masters in data science and today he will be here to introduce about himself his journey his struggles and how he got a job in ireland so let's get started <laughs> So finally we have a first guest for this podcast series his name is Kamlesh Narsinghani aap logo ne Kamlesh ko dekha hoga in my previous vlogs he is very famous these days in Kor people know him a lot how do you feel coming to the very first podcast series of Joshna Ram first of all thank you Pranav for calling me for this podcast series this is the first opportunity i'm coming in front of camera yeah <laughs> and how do you feel like the mic the whole setup and everything how do you feel like? this is a new new setup for me new I've setup i've never been in the such a situation never been in such a situation so let's not just waste some time let's just start with the whole things and let's i'll going to bombard you with a lot of questions right now i'm ready for that you are ready for that <laughs> yeah well abhi thodi der pehle hum discuss kar liye the so i'm going to start with all the questions and people want to know here what is your experience and everything so let's start with the very first question so please tell our viewers here what's your full name what's your background and how much experience do you have and what field did you pursue in ireland uh my full name is kamlesh narsinghani and i came to ireland i think so two years back with pranav pranav only in 2019 we first we met on the second day when i was in ireland yeah. we were just sitting in a, a a uh, restaurant and he came again i you guys can sit with us 2019 when i recently joined came here to ireland i was all alone and i was just sitting in a restaurant i was having food so kamlesh noshad and brijesh they they three came they sat on another bench then i was like guys come on let's eat together and that's how we got to know each other and now we and then friends. then by chance we were on from the same college only yeah. and we were staying in a uh, hostel nearby yeah He was staying. You were staying. I was. In, I was staying in Stay Call. Stay Call. I was in Sheila. In yeah. Sheila. So it was nearby. So that's how we met, and that's how we know, and that's how he's our first new <laughs> guest for the podcast series. Thanks. Thanks, Pranav. <laughs> yes. So tell us, what is your experience? What's your experience background? Mm, if you see, I am from automation developer background. In India, I have around three point five year of experience in <coughs> automation developer positions. Mm-hmm. I worked in two companies, and in between, I took a small data-related project related to data wrangling and all those stuff. In this way, my interest related to data science got generated, and I thought of doing my masters in data science analytics. Keeping in mind that I have experience in one field, like an automation developer, I had knowledge of Python. I used to work sometime as a Python developer also in some of the project. Yeah. So keeping those two things in mind, this was an additional field which is come on the top of you can say Python. Yeah. It is not totally related to Python, but mix of mathematics, Python, coding, and all those stuff. So I decided of going towards my master's degree for data science. or data analytics whatever so i first started applying in canadian universities yeah everyone wants to go to canada for the very first time yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me and noshad we both were applying for canadian universities and it was sure that at least we'll get in this university we have applied for a university that was not that much good in ranking and we were totally sure that we'll get we used to just sit like that oh one day we'll get the one day we'll get our hoja hamara ho jayega and a day came <laughs> when in the same day from morning to evening noshad received all the three rejection in one day <laughs> and then he called me meet meet <laughs> then i went all gone <laughs> serious situation <laughs> just meet all, all, all gone <laughs> yeah and then okay then by mistake i remember i applied for university of winsdor yeah i was going to apply for something related to 
computer applications university of engineers is in canada in canada in canada okay i need to apply for something computer application yeah. but in hurry i applied for computer science oh. <laughs> and did you get that or you did not get that no you <laughs> did not he didn't even Then, get that <laughs> after two days after thinking a lot and seeing my wallet uh, my bank account again <laughs> 6000 rupees will be invested in other application yeah i applied for that also yeah but bad luck bad luck 6000 <laughs> rupees gone and there was a old friend 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 he got admission in one of the universities yeah and that was not good in ranking yeah there was a hope that at least i can get in that <laughs> university living on hopes like at least i can go for it maybe i will get it then yeah. same both of us <laughs> rejected one more rejection and good thing after coming to ireland yeah Rishab also applied to same university. Yeah. And we were thinking, if we would have got in that university, see, we would three would think sitting together. Yeah. So Rishab, like Rishab, the AI guy. Rishab. The AI guy. Oh, He okay. also applied for the same university. Oh, okay. So how did you guys got to know about each other? After Back coming. in India only, or no, when after, you were, you were, after coming to Ireland. When you got here. Yeah. On the first party, old dog. Mm-hmm. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> So I said for the first party you met, yeah. and that that time we decided that whether you should have done AI. No, 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 no. You no. were like totally. We were in data science. Data science only. only. Just that on that first day party we met as a it was a CID party. Oh, okay. That time we met, and and uh, after this, all Canadian cities gone. Three years stay back gone. <laughs> we are gone. Then, <laughs> then again research started. Yeah. In around fifteen twenty days we decided. And we applied to good universities of Ireland. Good university balance. Okay. Universities. That time we were not pretty applying. sure about it because, like, uh, around my time also when I was applying mm. for the universities, when I was not sure about the universities or Ireland. Okay, there is no, no, yeah, ah, Ireland, we checked stuff. all the universities and we applied for Ireland universities, not for IT colleges IT like yeah, CIT. CIT. Then after <laughs> five ten days, someone told us that CIT is also a good option for you. Yeah. You can definitely try for CIT. Yeah. And then we checked. The application form was very easy. Yeah. Free of cost. <laughs> so free of cost. Free of cost. Six thousand rupees is saving same. now. <laughs> First thing. Okay, we yeah, can apply for CIT. In that, in that way, we applied to CIT. Yeah. And we got offer from other colleges also. What other colleges did you get? I got from NUIT Galway. Okay. I got from University of Limerick. You well. Yeah. Yeah, I got from University of Limerick and then CIT. CIT But I, after seeing the course description, I thought that CIT, CIT is better. Yes. So we opted for CIT. And by luck, by chance, Noshad also applied to the CIT. And he also got. <laughs> But that's the luck, guys. Like you were not getting totally into Canada University. You were getting both rejected there. Uh, But yeah. both got accepted. I got for UK also. Okay. I got in uh, Royal Holloway. Yeah. I applied just for one university in UK. Yeah. I got for that. For both AI and data science, but the cost was too high. Too high. And plus, that time we did not have there the was, stay back period. There was not well. two years stay back period. Yeah. It was just four. Because months. now that we in the UK, we have one plus two, same as Ireland. But same before as Ireland. that, yeah. time, it was, was just no four months. Month, find a job or go back. So, since how long have you been working in India? Like your experience uh, in India? How? Three point five years. Three point five. I have worked for two companies. One is TCS, Tata Consulting Service. Everybody know Tata. Yeah, I know Tata. I have <laughs> a car of Tata. <laughs> And okay. the second, Hilan Limited. It's an it's an Indian company okay. based out of Pune, Bangalore, Kolkata. So okay, this brings me to a second question of this podcast. Like, what do you think? Do you think the DS, the data science that you did here, is it worth doing it, or how was your experience overall with the education and everything for the future students if they are coming? Uh, I will start with the course curriculum. Yeah. If you see course curriculum of some other college, in that way the course curriculum of CIT is way good than the okay, other good. universities. Okay. Yeah. Because I have seen, I have compared the courses, and I know people studying there, and in that term the course curriculum is good. Course curriculum. If you see the other thing, other than the course curriculum, it is good. Yeah. Okay. I can't. Commit on what we say. I can't explain clearly because I just went to university to CIT for four months, four months. and that experience was good. Yeah. I was able to get what professor used to teach, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the flow was also good. 
so you can say with respect to other universities or something ds course was good this course yeah it was a mixture of both statistics programming language mathematics which is needed for a ds course and those i know those who have done this course properly they have got a good job yeah. and they are well settled in it can say slowly slowly people are getting job yeah well like we can we have like a, we had a drawback also in 2019 because as you said we just went for 4 months, months to the college yeah. after that the covid happened so everything was online yes and secondly other than ds like other than cit were like other curriculum activities uh, by the way guys the cit right now is known as mtu it's a new name now so most of the people won't be understanding that mm-hmm. so mtu is a new name so other than cit if you had an option like nuig you said you had nuig or ul mm-hmm. or not just ireland would you think that like going to uk canada or somewhere else would be a better option than what you had here in ireland See, I can't say that it it can it would have been better. It had would have been worse also. Yeah. Okay. And if two years back, if I was getting two years stay back, yeah, in UK, then maybe I would have preferred UK. UK. But if instead of you see Ireland and UK, then you can say that it was around fifty fifty. If two years UK was giving me two years also, but the uh course fees the living expenses are more in uk so yeah. in that terms also i would have come to ireland yeah so but if canada and ireland then definitely <laughs> canada you canada also and ireland, <laughs> definitely that's what i also think sometimes like <laughs> if i had an opportunity to go back to a bit back in 2 years i would like i would have gone more towards canada because it's like it's easier there that's what we feel because we are here that's why we are judging that it would be yeah. much easier we don't there. know what is on yeah. the other side of the what if people in canada are sitting in there like no it's not that let's easy let's go to ireland let's go to <laughs> ireland ireland looks way better than that but if you see it was good for me coming to ireland so it has been truth, fruitful for me truthful so for so fruitful fruitful oh, okay okay <laughs> my bad my bad so what what do you suggest for the upcoming students who are coming in data science fields and stuff like that what what inspiration hmm. should they have what should they do I don't know <laughs> any inspiration you want to give to the customers because now I, I will say that don't restrict yourself just to a data science. Yeah. Okay. If you have experience, that is a plus point for you. Yeah. If you are coming to Ireland with a previous experience, yeah. Two years is a good good amount of experience in Ireland because people will see that okay he has already worked in some companies so he would be a good option for us. Yeah. Okay. So. <clears throat> you can say that if you have some experience in different domain also mm. that's very good plus you are learning a new thing so it happens like that when i came i joined my company so i was not having a experience related to data science the professional experience yeah. so they gave me an opportunity to start working on small data mining projects and post that you can continue towards this machine learning or data science what you want first getting a job in ireland that's the main thing And well, slowly, slowly, you can change your domain. That is, can be done in one, one and a half year. Well, I have so, seen you. So this is out of the person experience. I have seen him growing hair and there. <laughs> so I have seen the thing like other than being having a master's degree in Ireland. Okay, so master's degree is two years of experience and so many things you have already done. Still, I have seen that when you were not getting the jobs, you were doing multiple courses, online courses. You were checking out, and there were a lot of things that you were doing. So. what do you think like is the masters degree sufficient for the student or the learning should never be stopped and they should be doing some particular courses specifically they are going for this field learning should never be stopped okay as you seen me i have 3.5 year experience yeah. then one years of master is a gap to that experience yeah okay so if you want to cover that gap you have a masters degree but if you do some online studies yeah or some courses in coursera or there are some other other site yeah. so it will help you to keep your previous skill brushed up every time yeah. okay so that it will be useful in it's not like that you have worked on few other things now you have done masters in data science it will not be useful yeah that is very wrong i have seen people who are from arts background but they are doing masters in data science mm-hmm. because this can be applied to any field so this is just an addition to your previous work experience or your previous degree so it should be a continuous process continuous learning process and you should move forward and have different different courses it will be good for your future as you have seen me i i used to brush up my previous skills plus i used to work on my masters uh, assignments or thesis side by side i used to take some extra projects 
on this masters only data mm-hmm. science related project machine related project because it will be useful for me yeah. and you can explain a bit more if you have some uh, real life example if you go to um, some sites i forgot the name no worries <laughs> we can add that in the link later if you yeah. go you can get lot of data and you can play with that so it will be useful for you so and what what about like you have 3.5 years of experience mm-hmm. what advice you would give for the graduates like me so like i was also a graduate if a graduate comes directly after the bachelor's to the do masters in this field like this is a hardcore field will they be equally sufficient of you or they would be lower or up how would when, when i came 2 years back i used to think that i should have directly come from my bachelor's yeah. if i would have been in ireland in 2015 yeah then in this 4 years i would have completed my masters i would have been well settled here i would have got a good job yeah because around 4 or 5 years back the it crowd in ireland was not that much huge mm-hmm. or big so it was you can say a pretty easy yeah. as compared to now this i think because yeah, yeah. i have seen how in last 2 years also the population of people coming from different countries for yeah. studying here yeah, has been yeah i have seen not from india i have no, seen no, people no. from pakistan bangladesh taiwan so many people my course also there were around people from seven or eight countries seven eight countries yeah, yeah. so that was a very good experience so if you see now if i say if you want to come if you have some experience it will be good yeah. because now if you are thinking or planning of coming to ireland mm-hmm. you come to ireland after one and a half years yeah. you don't have any experience then it will not be that good because mm-hmm. you can apply for graduate roles yeah but as i have seen here also in graduate role if you have few experience if you are a international student and if you have a bit experience one two years that is good yeah that will be considered as experience do you think somewhere do you think that is that it is kind of a drawback of non being a part of a european union right now like we are from india mm-hmm. so we don't have that experience because if we get a job here the company we focus on getting a sponsored jobs yeah. we want the visa yeah. and the companies here do you think that they also have in their mind that let's get someone who doesn't need a visa first and then let's focus on people who needs a visa for this reason only you can say we are getting stamp bungee for 2 years yeah that is a work you can work on that visa full time yeah you can say that period is given to you to find a job yeah to work on that job for 6 months or 1 year yeah get your managers or seniors trust on you build a trust mm-hmm. that you can work show them what you can do yeah and then definitely they will be sponsoring you visa and i know because i have worked in this situation so you, you know. know and second benefit not benefit we can't go to other europe country to yeah. visit well, well, <laughs> we are not getting visa well that's the drawback well, that, that's a really <laughs> that's big a drawback. Really drawback in ireland if you come you just have the irish visa you don't have the schengen visa yeah. to travel around but that's a plus point if you are going for a studies in germany or france it was that that time you can like travel in the whole europe in that point language barrier will be language barrier irish yeah. is the english speaking country and it's yeah. very good for you. that is true so now let's talk about your current job okay the current job that you got so can you tell me how, what were your experience how many struggles how many rejections you faced during the whole <laughs> job because rejection sunte we both start <laughs> having rejection <laughs> every day ka hamara scene hai so about every experience and how did you get the current job that you're doing and what is your current job rejection is like a meal of a day Yeah, he gets rejected by a lot of girls <laughs> lately. No, about the job I'm saying. I said you're talking about the jobs. Okay. That is the previous one is already there. <laughs> girls have never done jobs. The contract job that I got last year in October. October. So that was a three month contract. Mm-hmm. That also you can say I just got. I have not applied for that job. Okay. When I got called for that company. Thrice in last one year. <laughs> okay. First call I got in March 2020 mm-hmm. during the COVID time, and still there was around nine months left in my master's, so I said no. Okay. Again I got a call, and she asked me resume. That was in June when I was giving my thesis. Okay. So that was a long weekend. So I told her, okay, I will send you the evening. Yeah. And you forgot I, again. I forgot again. Yeah. Then in the Monday morning, I wrote a text to her that Ramonda, I can send my resume. Yeah. And she never came back. Yeah. She never came. 
That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, she never came back then. And then again, I got call for this job in I think so October first okay. week. And that day, yes, yes, yes. I will work. <laughs> I will work. This time right I will right. work because. Thesis was done. Yeah. I was searching for searching for job. Yeah. And vaguely, I just said that I want daily rate this much. Yeah. And then after what I calculated, it was uh, very less. Amrish, how much? भगवान का दिया वास्तव में मजनू भगवान का दिया हुआ सब कुछ है दौलत है शौरत है इज्जत है और इज्जतदार आदमी बेबस होता है <laughs> never <laughs> never disclose your salary never disclose your salary but your Puma की jackets and everything great secret center oh secret <laughs> center ने दी थी okay yeah fine then so you got the contract so it was a contract job basically it's like you get paid for the day day basis daily basis daily basis If, like the days you work like weekends you don't work you will not be get paid so we can just the it's working day yeah okay. and okay that was done then my first interview happened mm-hmm. it was three people it was on phone conference phone call yeah half of the things i was not able to understand it's because it was like, no 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 yeah i got what they were saying but it, the line was so distorted I was just getting the words, yeah. and I giving my <laughs> answer based on my experience. Own answers, yeah. And, and all the answers were good, yeah. Because it was their third time calling, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was. It's their like that. They want me. <laughs> This company wants you. <laughs> Whatever answer you give, we want you right now. Yeah. And uh, then the first round happened. Yeah. Then around one and a half hour later, I got a call that you are done with the first round. Yeah. You will be called for a second round uh, for a coffee interview. Oh my god! And that was the first time coffee interview. Finally, okay. good coffees other than <laughs> the home coffees that we drink. Then, after four days, I got a mail. Yeah. For a coffee interview, in the office. Yeah. With five members. Okay. And five members, when I searched on LinkedIn, all were seniors. Okay. And what will happen? Five people. This time, I am gone. Yeah. <laughs> Then what was your motivation to go? And for then the I job and get the <laughs> job. Job money, dokda, paisa, dokda, paisa, mal. Kaching. I know. Shit just got heavy. Ye jaldi se darni lagta sa. Ye jaldi se darni lagta paisa chahiye. Yeah. Then I went for that interview. I was sitting in the hall, that open area, and I was thinking that five people will come like this. Five yeah. and then one. I was saying, okay, let's go. And then. Three people have already taken my interview, so oh. they didn't came just to my head of unit and one Java developer. So She's a senior came. Java developer. She came. Yeah. Then we were crossing the road. We were having a discussion, and my that man, my manager was without the signal. He was just crossing like that. These managers, <laughs> I tell you, <laughs> he was running, and I was scared. Then please I, don't die. I need this job. This is my job. Please don't. I will follow my manager. <laughs> also, you followed it. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. But in the last signal, he stopped yeah. because one of the driver said, "What are you doing, man?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then we we had I had a discussion with my manager in that five minutes. Yeah. And then he told me what you would like to have. And they were not having anything, so I said, "No, I will not have anything." No, no, no. He told it's compulsory. I have to buy you something. <laughs> you have to take something. <laughs> Then okay, hot chocolate would be fine. <laughs> Gusto, yeah. hot chocolate. Oh, oh. <laughs> and then I was sitting with the other recruit, uh, not recruiter, the senior Java developer. Yeah. We were having a discussion. What I did, what the tools I have used, what SQLs and what databases I have used. That again for ten minutes. Yeah. And then my manager came and told her that you can ask question. Yeah. Then we both started laughing and said the interview is already done from her part. Yeah. <laughs> She told. Then again, my manager came. He started me explaining what needs to be done, what he wants from me, what extra I can do, what extra I can add to the other project. Because if you can see, I have good experience in different different areas. So yeah. if you see in my current project also, I can work on three or four, you can say parts. Parts. I mean. And I have worked. So in this way, I got the job. And when I the first day was there. Actually, I got the. Jo- they delayed my joining two times, and then it was. I was scared that scared. are they going to give me the job or not? Yeah. <laughs> then I got. I when I went the first day, the first line from my manager, not good morning, good afternoon, nothing. You have just one and a half month to prove yourself before your next contact. Then <laughs> <laughs> first line and no good morning, no <laughs> nothing, no nothing. nothing. First you, line, 
So I just have one and a half more. And after four weeks, he told me that sorry, there is a budget issue. <laughs> oh, <laughs> My job is gone. Then in just one month. And next day he called me. Okay, I have secured a budget for you. Okay, you have your job. Okay, fine. When I came back in January, yeah. First call, whole team was there around thirty people. He told that again there is a budget issue. I need to lay off half of my team. Oh God. And the first question from my mind, definitely your name will be there because you were the last person who joined the team. Oh God! But after 15 minutes, I got a call from my manager and my team. Yeah. He said that you don't, you guys don't worry, your job is safe. Job. We we have lot of work for you. <laughs> that was a relief for me. So and you then, worked for these contracts for like one year. Whole one work. year will end in this November. Oh, okay, okay. So one that year. was one year. And post that. I got th- I the, he told me three times that your job will go. Yeah. But after that, I have my job and every time I contact him. So like three in this contract, we cannot get the sponsored visas, right? The contract to job it should be the full time job. Only. It should be a full time yeah. job or a base or salary of something. You, something. you can get a contract from a contractor. Yeah. He can give you. Yeah. You need to have a discussion with him. And he will have a discussion with your manager. Okay. Getting a confirmation that we have a visibility for him for one year, one year. minimum. Okay. Because if if they give you visa also, yeah. and if the visibility is not for minimum eleven months. Yeah. If your company say you to leave in ten months. Yeah. And that because eleven month is minimum to stay on stamp one. Mm-hmm. So if that eleven month is not completed, that will be again. You can to start from the ground from zero. So that time they don't give provide. That's contracts. why they don't give contract. Okay. So because then, yeah, if you are on a full time employee, then you got lot of uh, benefits. Yeah. So saving for all those things. That's why. And the plus point is that you can leave your company in seven days. Seven days. So you get a bigger because, because it's a contract job. Because if you are in a full time, then you have to serve that notice period. Serve right? the notice. It is in contract job also. Yeah. Like yes. my notice period is seven days. Is seven days. But on my mutual agreement with my manager, I told him that I will serve for thirty days because thirty days is necessary. Yeah. As per managers, so I am serving one month. So you are serving one month. But why are you serving one month? Where are you going? Are you flying back to India or what? Yes, I am flying back. You are flying back to India, so there is no new <laughs> secrets down the line. This is a mystery. <laughs> this is a mystery. But eventually, you don't tell us about the company mm-hmm. you are working right now, or the job, or something like I that. I can tell about. You can tell them about that. Yeah. Okay, he can tell about it. He can also tell about the Rokra. I guess. No, no, no. So he's not telling about the Rokra. Currently, I am working in Clearstream. Clearstream. That is a part of Dosh Boss. Okay. And I'm working in Clearstream as a Python developer. Okay. I'm working on data mining projects, data wrangling projects, a bit on machine learning. Yeah. There we have different models. So. I work on those also. Mm. Sometimes I worked on the QA part also okay. because as I have experience, and in my team, if someone is free, so my manager tend to let him work on the other project because if you are free, you are not idle. You have to, you don't have to sit idle. In Ireland, yeah. none of the manager, if you work part time, full time, anywhere, yeah. they will not, they can't see you idle. You have to work you on some. Need to do something. Yeah, either. and. You can do some new POCs. You yeah. can then bring them revenue, or you can work on the other projects. So I have worked on three, four projects in last one year. Mm-hmm. This is for clear thing. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a good experience, and also that like once you also told about the dependency, like you need to show your work, you need to yeah. prove your dependency. That's one of the thing that company would be interested to keeping you yeah. for a longer but time. But like in my team. As I have seen, my team is of thirty members. Thirty yeah. members is a very big number. Yeah. Only five or six are permanent employee of PSC, and rest yeah. are contractors. Oh. Okay. So, for being a full time employee, you have to be based on the project basis. So mm-hmm. you need to show that you have dependency. Like if you leave, some other person will come training him, or it will be very huge time span. You can say. Yeah. Like I can say, I am training. Four members from last two and a half months. Okay. And one of them is already left. 
so that is the benefit for contractor from our point yeah. and but loss for uh, the employer from their point from their point so it's like that <clears throat> well, that's a very good experience so also do you mind if i put your linkedin in the description so that people can follow you make connections <laughs> chat with you t- share all the memes and everything about you not memes you cannot put memes. my linkedin not memes but yeah. memes are rule banana <laughs> So I'll be putting down there the LinkedIn link for Kamlesh down there. Abhi screen pe bhi aa raha hoga, so you can follow Kamlesh. You can ask any other doubts related to fields, or if you want to make connection, because making connection is really important in Ireland. Yeah. Make your connection on LinkedIn. That is yeah. very necessary. People can refer you. You can get a job. If you say, if you have a referral, your chance of getting the job increase by thirty percent. Definitely, you can get the job. Because the good thing LinkedIn. about referrals is about like if you are being referred, so the person who is referring, but this is also a thing yeah. over here. Like the person who is referring, he also gets some share about the money or something like that. He also get, but also you will just cut the line and you are just at the top. Yeah, the, it's not about the money. It's about yeah. the trust. Suppose trust. for person who is already working, I will yeah. give you an example. I was referred for a position in Clear Stream only. Okay. My, I, 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 they, he, she referred me. Mm-hmm. my application went to that manager directly okay means hr and then manager okay but i forgot to apply from the link which i received oh you didn't apply so that manager came back to me via email yeah. stating that you have been referred and you have not applied oh. we are not able to proceed further we want to proceed further with your application this is a positive point you can say yeah, or i would have missed that job yeah So I applied it again, and then the process started, oh, okay. and I got the offer from that company also. But that was not good. So, <laughs> but the company is very good. Company is very good. Company, company is great. Company is very good. Company Rokla, is <laughs> Rokla, Rokla, Rokla. Company is the best. In the, in the end, I got that offer yeah. because if she would have not referred me, then that process would be very slow. Very slow. Because after referral. And after seeing all the application, they uh, shortlisted, and okay. the manager told me that out of thirty application, we have shortlisted four people. Okay. And you I was the second person to to interview for that position. You were the lucky boy. Then <laughs> <laughs> he was a lucky boy out of that thirties. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a good experience over there. So yes, well, thank you so much, Kamlesham Singhani, and very uh, thanks a lot. Pranav. Congratulations <laughs> thank for you. your very new job. We are we are we are getting very formal because we are we are like chal we hat na we are sometimes but we are like no no we are in front of camera. We gotta speak in English. I need to take water breaks now. So thank you so much, Kamlesh, for the very first podcast series, and I hope you guys like this podcast series. And if you like such more podcasts, more podcasts will be coming. It's just an international student experiences in Ireland. It's not just based on Indian students. any students and their experiences and how they gain what they gain what were their struggle stories that is what i will bring it to you so with that i'll just end this podcast here thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share comment and subscribe till i meet you guys in the next video peace out <laughs>